<laughs> also. And we are coming to the last fight of the night, right? That uh, is true. The last fight of the main card. For our super welterweight belt, Mr. Mashari Almansori here from the UAE. I've seen both these gentlemen fight, and I tell you, I tell you, Mohamed Al Bukhari. And introducing first, in the red corner, at 180 centimeters tall, weighing in at 69 kgs, from Morocco, Mohamed El Bukhari! Ah, there he is, ladies and gentlemen, Mohamed Al Bukhari. A fighter everyone should fear in this weight class. Again. 69 kilo and 180 centimeters tall. Yep, 69 kilograms. Having the height. Standing at 180 centimeters. And he's only 29 years old. He's had four pro wins, one loss in the UAE. Very, very talented fighter. I've commentated on his fights before. And, and his opponent fighting out of the blue corner from the United Kingdom, standing at 176 centimeters tall, weighing in at 69 kgs, Bradley Blue Stanton! I have seen Brad fight. There he is. Very tough, dangerous fighter. Bradley Stanton, 27 years old, 69 kg, standing at 176 centimeters from the United Kingdom. He's had three wins and two losses. Okay. Let's see this fight. Sounds interesting experience, guys. I mean, both of them are dangerous. Both of them are talented. And you're going to see some incredible speed on Brad. Incredible Tanks speed. Or legs. Oh, what just everything. The guy's fast, head to toe. And you're going to see control by Bukhari. And I'm looking forward, ladies and gentlemen, this is the fight of the night. The last fight tonight from the main card. A little bit advantage of the height with Muhammad. Taller guy. Oh, Victor, I don't know if this is going to be a tragedy or a comedy. <laughs> but I can tell you... <laughs> I, I don't even know where this is going. Both fighters are incredible. I like how Bradley, on his way in, just blows a kiss to the camera. Very laid back, you know, confident. Chilling. Now this fight could go a little bit more deeper, let's see. And Bukhari's not even looking at anyone. He's just like, you know, busy, focused on his fight. Yes, they're gonna present us a little bit of white crew traditional Muay Thai dance before Muay Thai fight. I believe this is like more religious also type of Vai crew, you see? I believe so too. It can be, it can be religious, it can be spiritual. 
this guy's pretty traditional there. Yep. Bukhari is looking pretty fit for this one. And Bukhari is going traditional on it too. Yeah, continuing. And this is what I was talking during the night. You can do this Y crew as long as you want. And the point is like kind of fighting through the dance with the opponent. Presenting all kind of figures. Giving the respect. But also, also you can give disrespect to the opponent. Yes, and a if challenge. You, if, like. you, if you've seen this kind of Y crews, like you go with the swords attacks, and arrows. The bow. Yes, yes, arrow and bows. <laughs> yes, I've seen that. And now they're closing it down. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go down. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. There we Show. go. There's the bow. First bow is missing. He missed it. <laughs> uh, look at that. Here it is. No, I was looking at it. Straight yeah, at the ring. There it is. Again. Second time. He this... didn't. First one, he didn't got it. Again, the second one, he didn't. Beautiful. For the final fight to see the complete by crew and again now he got he him. got him <laughs> ah beautiful good job thank you guys amazing amazing once again everybody muay thai fight night abu dhabi organized by the uae muay thai federation Beautiful layout, like always, just incredible the way they do it here. And this is the many way, many went. Fight of the night, Abu Dhabi, the city of champions. And this is the main event. event. Yes, between great fighters. They started with the amazing Vike crew. I'm looking forward to this, Victor. Me too. I think everyone is. Let's see how it's going. Maybe they fight, do they fight like five rounds? At? Maybe they fight five rounds. Um, I, I'm I, not I sure. I don't have the information about it. I don't think so. I think they're gonna go Maybe three rounds Maybe all the rounds are three multiplied three. But some, you know, Muay Thai fight can be five rounds multiplied three. Yes. I mean, normally so. it would be five rounds. I think, I think, it might be special Never mind. Rules. Never let's see. <laughs> yeah. It's about to go down, ladies and gentlemen. The fight we have all been waiting for. And here we go, round one. Oh. Whoa. Went straight for an elbow and another elbow. Started nice straight. Smoking. No, no respect in this one. Oh. Bradley is starting very good with the clinching. Keeping the active. Wow, what a start. Oh, he's swinging there, missed with the elbow. Good job. Nice, oh, nice. All into block of Bradley. Nice knees there by Bukhari. Look at this clinch. Nice. Very nice clinch and elbows by Brad. Nice low kick by Bukhari again. Very active clinch. Oh, nice elbow, but it comes back at him with another elbow. Bukhari shakes his head like nothing. Good strong kick. Nice Good kick by Bukhari. Kick. 
misses there. Nice push kick. He's like, yeah, okay, low blow. <laughs> oh, beautiful high kick. Oh, misses, oh, Bro. catches him with that high kick. He's good just kick. fast, man. Is Brad is fast. Nice combinations by Bukhari. Nice back, el spinning elbow. I don't know how that was. It was beautiful. That's what it was. Oh, from now, I can say that Bradley has a good control still. Neutralized couple of those attacks of Buhari. Playing around with the clinch, honestly. Missed with that high kick. Nice low kick, nice high kick. All in block, you know? Oh. All in block, it's true. However, in Muay Thai, if it lands heavy, even if it's checked or blocked, they do count it as a point sometimes. Count. Yeah, it is. It can be a point, but whoa, that was some elbow. We have a big cut on Brad's head. That's, that's alarming. It's that spin elbow, isn't it? I think so. Somewhere, some elbow went in. Is that one? No. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, look at that. He missed with that, man. Wow, this is a big cut, I think so. Well, if you know what, if they don't... You don't want to have this kind of cut. Yeah, It's cause... very disturbing when you get that cut and to continue fighting when it starts something bleeding off to your head all the time if the doctors not close it and it looks... The Bradley is pushing them that they can... Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna tape it. But I think, Oof. you know, if Oof. they don't close that properly... He just wants to put Fazel in Yeah, to, he just wants to, to close it. He's going to try and finish the fight. Close this cut. Because he literally has one or two minutes of Vaseline working, and then the cut's going to continue, and it's not yes. going to stop. Yes, it, it will be very tough. Honestly, if it's a big, big cut, the fighter, the Bradley wants. I mean, the thing is about Bukhari, he's a, a he's a fighter in control, and it's just like he's not predictable. You don't know what he's gonna come up with. Is he gonna do a Superman punch? Is he gonna do a, a jump spin elbow kick or I don't know what you call it, like three flips but I in think the air? So, this Bradley. <laughs> I think it's gonna be over, isn't it? Let's see if he can continue fighting like this. I mean, so far the the referees and everybody is like, okay, continue fighting. The doctors are saying, okay. Yeah, it looks like they will do it, but... No, uh, I would love that it continues because he's not... But this is kind of like situation where the doctor can stop it and it can be like technical knockout. Yeah. And you have to stop it because you cannot stop the bleeding and that it will true. distract him also. Well, all Bukhari needs to do now is do whatever he was doing. <laughs> and I think if he touches that area a couple of times, the bleeding is going to start. And it's going to stop Bradley from being able to fight. So let's see what Bradley is going to come back with. How is he going to answer to this? He put a ton of Vaseline into that cut. Nice low kick and a medium kick. Nice elbow again. Nice slow kick, man. Bradley's sharp, man. But Bukhari doesn't even move. He's like, yeah, bring it. What? Look at that, man. Nice jab, low kick, high kick, spin kick. <laughs> he sticks his hands out like, what was that? <laughs> this is proper provoca provocating in, in terms of Muay Thai. Oh, he got the ball. Oh, uh, he got a low blow there. Oh, high kick, beautiful there. He's like, what? Where is it? <laughs> I love the fight, this fight between those two. Yeah. 
<laughs> so much of tension, man, in this fight. Yeah, both last fights are very nice presentation of Muay Thai, and this is what it brings this game so interesting, where you're like all the time having fun watching them playing inside with the fighting. Imagine playing with the fighting. Look at this. Oh, oh wow. He's like, yeah, did I get you now? Did I get you now? He's like, he kept on saying, you, you missed and I didn't miss in this one. Oh, did come back at him nice and hard with that. Oh, oh, oh this is a high, a high kick. kick. Ooh, this is Landed a high kick. unbelievable in the face with that left. Is he going to be able to fight? He's going. No, no, no. He's still awake. Everything is fine. But this was a big shot for He looks for wobbly, him. man. He looks wobbly. Of course, but uh, it's a... That was a fast lightning fast kick, man. Oh, he got him with an elbow to the back. Look at him, he smiles at him like that. Nice jump, double kick there. Caught him with that left. Oh, he caught Whoa. him again. Hey, 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 what is going on? What is going on? You know what, like he turned him back. It's... No, but he, I did hear the referee say stop several times. He's like, what is going on? Beautiful fight, guys. Man, what a fight. Oh, oh, it's that left, Lemis. man. It's that left on Bradley. Look at his how he's looking at him. <laughs> so much attention in this fight. Oh! <laughs> nice. Oh my God. And they what? gave you gloves for respect. Very beautiful fight. What a fight. Oh my God. You know, <laughs> I've been going around yesterday and today talking to everybody about this fight. I spoke to Tarek, to Jibril, to you, to everybody about this fight. Yeah, and they put it right show. <laughs> and I didn't, you know, this... I expected it to be so good, but I didn't expect it to be that good. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. Boom! Elbow. There was like a slow, mo slow motion of that high kick. Ah, look at that. You see, this like it, it, he was stopping it, but the point is like how he was leaning off the. Yeah. But you could clearly see in that referee was pulling him, and he was still throwing those punches and those hooks and those elbows, man. Wow. Round three, Victor. Great, great fight. First two rounds. I would say Bradley is kind of leading, but because of that countdown, the first round was very interesting. Got, he, he got that crazy big cut on his head. Oh. Let's go focus now on the third round. The most interesting, usually the highest pace. Wow. That knee, clean non stop is, knee. Clean from is. You see how he clo closed him up in his head and throw those knees. Just locked him there. It's a, oops, low, low blow. Nice, they touch gloves. Good. I give you a low blow and I touch gloves with you. <laughs> That's how it works in the Muay Thai world. Bradley's changing guard all the time, no? Am I right? He started from a different guard. I mean, he's smart, you know? He just do he doesn't want to be predictable. He knows exactly what he's doing. And so far, it looks like Bukhari has an answer. Wow! Whoa, that he elbow. to go with that back elbow. Oh. 
the lucky thing about it that the, the bleeding stopped for Bloody Bradley. Stopped. Yeah, it's like a miracle. Nice catch there with the jab. Whoa. Nice medium kick by Bukhari. Nice, nice kick again. Clinch of Bla Bradley, Brad is on point. Nice back fist there, that landed. Didn't really do a lot of damage, but still landed. See, like last 30 seconds in this third round, if wow. Bradley doesn't show it honestly, it goes to the Bukhari. I mean, Bukhari's just been punching and kicking. To be yes. honest, Brad, the... Brad is just standing there. Bukhari is all the time kicking, much more active. The third round. What happened there? I don't know. I didn't see it. He, did he just say he bit me? He just, I just heard Brad say he bit me. I, I want to see that in slow-mo, man. I want to see the playback. Because if he did bite him, then it's disqualif disqualification. Yeah, I just heard him say it, man. I'm, I'm guessing it is. I, I want to see that. Wait, I wait a minute. I don't know what happened. I'm kick. just a little bit confused about this. I was talking about that the third round was very good for Buhari. Yes, Buhari was, was winning. Kind of like going all the time with these kicks and Look at that, he's landing that everything, man. Wait, let's see that. Oh, there, he took a chunk, man. Why would you do something like that? I mean, yeah, it doesn't even need to go to the decision. You were winning the fight. Why, why would you? Discussion between fighters, it's fine, like put them on side. Definitely not not sport if you are beating somebody. We had that experience with the boxing back with Mike Tyson and <laughs> Holyfield. Now and in Muay Thai. Of our main event by disqualification in the blue corner, Bradley 